high-stakes presidential debate. It's the first one, of course, President Trump, Joe Biden face-to-face, -face, just 24 hours away. It will take place on that stage right there, Cleveland, Ohio. No handshake because of COVID, no opening statements. Biden has been doing debate prep and what he says he expects on that stage from President Trump and what the president says about preparing for the debate as well. Here's Terry Moran tonight. It will be a presidential debate unlike any in modern history. President Trump and Joe Biden on the same stage for the first time. No handshake, no opening statements. And Biden is prepared for the gloves to come off right out of the gate. He's going to want to make it personal. He's going to want to get in the mosh pit. I'm going to talk about why I want to be president of the United States. He has taken time off the trail to prepare. But the president campaigning hard nine events in the last week. How many hours would you say you've spent on no, debate? Right, right. It's a little time. I mean, not a lot. More or less than I'm, I'm running the country. I'm, I don't, you know, I don't have the luxury. The first question will go to President Trump, who's using his third Supreme Court pick to fire up his base. Formally nominating Judge Amy Coney Barrett to fill Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg's seat this weekend. She is a woman of unparalleled achievement, towering intellect, sterling credentials, and unyielding loyalty to the Constitution. And Biden is making the case that health care and guaranteed coverage for pre-existing conditions for millions of Americans is at stake, with the court set to take up the fate of the Affordable Care Act just one week after the election. The clear focus is, this is about your health care. This is about whether or not the ACA will exist. This is about whether or not pre-existing conditions will be continue to be covered. He's heading into tomorrow with a 10-point lead in national polls of the president, and he'll be in his element with 26 vice presidential and presidential primary debates under his belt. But this time, he'll be head-to-head -head with a president who acknowledges he began prepping weeks ago. Here's what Biden said about that to David. The president said he's already prepping for the debates. Are so you? am I. <laughs> I can hardly wait. Who's playing Trump? I'm prepping. And in these final hours before the debate, Biden says going up against Donald Trump is a whole other ball game. What, what do you have to do to win the debate? Just tell the truth. Let's get to Terry Moran tonight. Terry, tomorrow night's debate, you've got this new reporting on the president's taxes. Of course, coronavirus here in the U.S., the Supreme Court vacancy. Uh, plenty, plenty for our colleague Chris Wallace over at Fox News to get to tomorrow night. It should, David, be a meaty debate on paper, but let's see. Those topics that Chris Wallace have chosen, six topics, 15 minutes each, the Trump and Biden records, the Supreme Court, the coronavirus pandemic, the economy, race and violence in our cities, and the integrity of our elections. But I think voters are also going to get a good look at both men under pressure at length, really for the first time. David? 36 days to go. Terry Moran, thank you. Of course, again, that crucial first debate tomorrow night. ABC News with a special edition of 2020 starts at 8 p.m. Eastern, followed by the debate right here at 9. In the meantime. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.